we are going to be transforming this large empty can of green beans with some decoupage and we're going to need a large pine cone too. I know it sounds a little absurd, but we're gonna turn the pine cone into a Christmas tree and use the can as our Christmas tree holder. For the decoupage portion, I'm gonna be using some TDS decoupage tissue paper. This print is called Wondrous Things. I'm just gonna cut out a little section to put on the front of the can. To start off, we're gonna need a base for the decoupage and I'm gonna just use some Waverly chalk paint for that. I get asked often, where do I pick this up? And my local Walmart still sells it there. So that's where I get mine. And I'm also gonna use this to give my pie Pine cone a little flocking. Now you can skip this part if you don't want to give your pine cone a flocking or if you don't want to use pine cone at all you could absolutely use a little tree you find somewhere. This idea can be remixed to what works best for your decor. While that was off on the side drying I grabbed a pouncer and did a little tappity tap 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 coat all over our green bean can. For the medium, I'm just going to use some good old Mod Podge and apply a nice layer on top of our can here. And people, make sure you use whatever medium works best for you. I usually have Mod Podge and some liquid patina sitting off to the side around me, and these are my go-tos. So that's what I grab, but feel free to use whatever works best for you or try something new if you want to. Completely up to you. I decided that I just wanted to use a small section of the tissue paper and I cut it down to size, but people well, also, if you want to have yours wrap completely around the can, you go right ahead. Or if you want to do some patchwork where you cut out little sections and just apply it onto the little sections, you can also do that as well. Decoupage is really versatile like that. So get as creative with this as you would like. Whenever I do pieces like this, I like to leave a little excess. This way I can just trim off whatever and if there's mistakes to be made, I got a little bit of extra material to help fix that. Since I didn't wrap this paper all around our piece, I'm just coming back in with some of that paint around the edges and over top of the paper to blend it together. While that's drying, I went through my stash and grabbed some little pieces for us to create some ornaments on our pine cone. And of course, you know, we need a star for the top of our tree. I'm using some tight bond quick and thick to attach our pieces to the pine cone. If you've never attached anything to a pine cone before, it can be a little tricky, but it's also really easy at the same time because the pine cone has little you know grooves in it and you can just kind of put the glue on the end of things and then finagle your pieces in between those little pine cone sections once it dries you have a really nice hold but you want to make sure while it is drying you put it somewhere it can be really still since I want to pop that pine cone in the center of our can here, I decided to use one of Dollar Tree's cones and have that as our center brace. Now, I wasn't too confident in its ability to hold the weight of this pine cone, so I took a circular dowel and I cut it down to size. And yes, the dowel is going to go flying across the screen. Don't worry. I found it later. I used some tight bond quick and thick to put on the top and on the bottom. So this way we could attach this little wood circular piece for our base and then attached our pine cone with some more of that tight bond quick and thick. Once your piece is dry, then it's time to decorate it as you see fit. I had a napkin laying around and decided to use that as like the base in here. I also didn't glue anything down. This way I could switch out things as I see fit. Thought this was such a cute idea to just incorporate some decoupage into upcycling some cool home Christmas decor. Dollar Tree has a large selection of candles, which are great for decoupage decor. These are amazing to add napkins onto and still be able to burn them or grab these LED joints for that ambiance feel and decorative touch without burning. And people, I love to give you options. So we're gonna do just that using this TDS decoupage tissue paper for our first one. I'm gonna cut out these little pieces right here and create a set. These are also kind of the perfect size to make ornaments with as well. 
Anyhow, we're going to use some Mod Podge as our medium to attach the decoupage tissue paper. I know, Brandy, can you burn them if you add Mod Podge? I would not recommend that. I get that question pretty often. These are strictly going to be for decorative purposes. However, just hold on a second. I am going to give you some more options and some techniques for doing that. Once they dried, I did add a little layer of Mod Podge over top of our pieces. And I love how this little decorative candle set turned out. People, today I've teamed up with my friend over at Crafting Away With May to offer you some Christmas decoupage inspiration. Not only is she extremely talented with decoupage, but she offers a variety of DIY crafty content over on her channel for you to check out. So when you're done enjoying the decoupage DIYs in this video, there is more for you to get inspired from on her channel. The link will be down in the description box below. Just click that more button right underneath this video. If you want to be able to decorate a candle and burn a candle, a great way to do that is to use a napkin. For this piece, I just want to add a little something something to the bottom of the candle. So I'm just cutting out a little section of our napkin and then removing the sneaky layers because we're just going to need to use the top. And you're also going to need some parchment paper. And when you're done with that parchment paper, you want to make sure you throw it away and not do what I do and try and reuse it because fires could start. What is that? on fire. fire so apparently you're not supposed to hoard everything when you have a crafting problem some things actually have to be thrown away like wax covered parchment paper and here's how that may happen in case you're wondering you're going to use your heat gun and gingerly go over melting that wax where you have that napkin place and the parchment paper keep mindful this is hot and it's going to get hot because you're melting wax okay you're going to notice that it starts to change color you rub it around a little bit and you will have a very beautiful attachment where that wax seeped up through the napkin and this is my preferred method for this however some people ask can you use an iron and because i love giving you options and information on the back side of this candle we're going to do just that i grabbed my little iron here and my parchment paper and i applied no pressure at all. Just basically putting this iron right on the top, remove the parchment paper. And as you can see here, it's messy. So that iron method being used, even applying minimal pressure, it just is not as clean looking as the heat gun method to me. But take this information and remix it using whatever works best for you. I just prefer the heat gun. And yes, in case you're wondering, you can take a whole napkin, apply it to a whole candle using the heat gun method. Here's one I did in another video and I absolutely adore how this turned out. But I absolutely love the high end simplicity of just adding a little something onto the bottom of the candle. Now for you LED candle lovers like me, we're going to grab some more TDS decoupage tissue paper and pop a little decorative design right on the front of this Dollar Tree LED candle. Napkins to me are a perfect decoupage piece if you want to be able to burn your candle. But if you're anything like me and you want to get creative and pop glue or glitter or whatever, LED candles are amazing for that, especially if you want to use a decoupage tissue paper because most of the time you're using Mod Podge. But one thing I hate doing and I always seek help is whenever I gotta cut down a piece. Hey Ma, how much do you love me? I don't. <laughs> you don't. I just you. Would would you would you mind cutting this down for me? Absolutely disrespectful, right? She cut it down anyway. <laughs> she did a good job. We're gonna use some Mod Podge to attach this right onto our LED candle. You never need a whole lot to be able to get a good attachment. And I always love how the LED candles look once they're lit up and all decorated. Thank you. 
I had this little rustic tray in my stash and I thought it would be perfect to add some decoupage onto the inside of it. So I grabbed some TDS decoupage tissue paper and I cut out a little section to apply on here. And people, it goes without saying, please take these ideas and remix them using whatever tissue paper, whatever napkins you would like that matches your decor style. To get the exact measurement, I just placed the piece that I cut out into the tray and this just applied some pressure around the corners. I took it back out and then just trimmed it down to size. I'm using some Mod Podge for our medium here. Feel free to use whatever medium you would like. Put in a decent amount because whenever I'm doing something like this and I have to sit down the tissue paper. I wouldn't do this with napkins. So it might break. But whenever you have to sit down your tissue paper or regular paper into something like this, you want to be able to kind of move it around a bit. So if you got a little bit of extra medium in there, it allows you to be able to kind of move it. And spraying it also kind of helps give you a little bit of freedom to manipulate the material. You can't obviously spray everything with water, but I know that this tissue paper, you can just, you know, give it a little bit of a light misting and it helps you to be able to move things around to get it in the right spot. When you have it all down, you can absolutely take whatever you would like to press over it, use some cling wrap, get it down in there. You can put a sealer over this if you would like. You could keep it absolutely just as plain as you would like. It depends on what you're using it for. You can decorate this up in several different ways. Did you know that Dollar Tree's pumpkins make perfect backgrounds for palette decor? Especially if you want to decoupage something. We're going to use some TDS decoupage tissue paper with little snowman design, but first we're going to need to disassemble this pumpkin. And the best part about disassembling these pumpkins is it's super easy to do. Everything just kind of comes right on off. For our base coat, I'm going to just use some Waverly Snow White chalk paint and put a nice layer over top of this pumpkin, covering up that orange and the letters. For our medium, I'm just using some Mod Podge and putting a nice coat all over the entire piece. I'm using my mister here just to spritz a little spritzy spritz of water right over top of the decoupage tissue paper. You do not have to do this. You can absolutely just apply the paper without any spraying. But I find that sometimes when there's little grooves on stuff, it just helps me be able to manipulate it and get a really nice bond. Once the piece was dry, I wanted to make it a little rustic. So I grabbed my finger sander and just sanded down where the palette grooves were and all around the edges. To add a little something something around the edge, I grabbed my Dollar Tree metal lace and I just pulled enough out to wrap around our tabletop decor here. I'm going to bring on in the stapler so we can use this to attach onto the palette. I have definitely glued this stuff, but I find that if I'm going to use it to attach it, especially to wood, that stapler works the best. I wanted to make sure that decoupage paper melted in with the background. So I grabbed some more of that Waverly white paint and dry brushed around all the edges and where I sanded everything down. Once that was completely dry, I then grabbed my Mod Podge and put a very nice thin layer of sealer on it. If you are looking for more decoupage inspiration, don't forget to check out the description box below and head on over to Crafting Away with May's channel. As always, people, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today and until next time.